Hey everybody, welcome to the next episode of Castle Hunters. We're at uh, Palace Castle in uh, south of County Galway. Uh, it's a pretty cool, as you can see it's almost bloody well intact. You've got this massive battlements all the way around it. We're going to have a peer, peek around and uh, you know, for your enjoyment. I didn't say a thing there. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, welcome back to another episode of Castle Hunters. Let's get right into it here, that's a map of the west of Ireland, there's Galway, that's where I live. So the other day we went out to visit a place called Palace Castle, and it was pretty amazing. So you drive out to a place called Loch Grey, you take the road to the south here, drive to a place called Tina. So just south of that little village called Tina, drive on here, you take a little right hand turn and it brings you to a place called Palace. Let's get on to the aerial photo here. So we drove down this little road here and what you see in front of you is just an astounding sight. We've got this battlements the whole way around, this protective wall, it's called, it's called a keep, so it would have been a military um, kind of encampment really. Uh, and the, the history of this little location is, is interesting as I, I think it was originally there was a castle here or a fort here in the 1200s or 12. 50 or so, or so, because the original uh, Normans that came in here and fought their way across the country and took uh, lands from all the, uh, the Celts that lived there at the time, and they built castles all over the place, obviously. And this that was the um, origins of this place here was it was a Norman kind of stronghold. So as you can see, it's surrounded by a nice big old forest. That forest could weed there as long as the castle. It's got a beautifully intact outer wall. We've got turrets to the front, and we got uh, very large ditches that, that you can see here on the map that goes the whole way around. Uh, originally, there was a drawbridge on this place; uh, it's gone now, obviously. Um, let's get onto the old map. So here is the old map of the area. We drove down to this little road here, which one time was uh, the kind of service buildings and outhouses and stables for the uh, Lord's house that was built here which does not exist anymore. You can see on the aerial photo here that was the foundation of the Lord's house that lived there. We drove down this little road which would have been a bustling place back in the you know, 1700s or 1800s. And here we parked our car here and you can see there's the old gatehouse that we walked through. You can see that the front turrets here on both sides you got these large battlements and there was you know housing for the guards and the sentries or whatever there you could walk around these battlements the whole way around it was pretty fantastic to do and uh, that little place here that's the actual castle itself so that's palace castle let's get on in we'll show you around and i hope you enjoy it all right give us an introduction so where are we we are in um Oh, why is my mind go blank? <laughs> We're in the Palace, just outside Loch Grey. Just outside, it's about 20 minutes <laughs> drive on a long and windy road outside yeah. Loch Grey, um, in the county of Galway, where we're from. Uh, I was here once before, uh, a good while ago, and the second time here, it's still awe inspiring. It is massive, it's very, very big. The castle itself is very well intact. The whole barn wall is completely intact. On all four corners, two front corners there are, and this other corner, so this is the only one which doesn't. There is a tower house, a tower house, and on this other corner where we go over in a Or a turret. Has another. What we're standing on right now is, is just a ledgeway going around. <laughs> a precarious <laughs> ledge. <laughs> Um, which allows you access to all of the shooting points or viewing points. Oh, I'll go in here. Yeah, get in there. Actually enough, did you get a shot of down here? You can get a... This is the first time we've seen such thing. Oh yeah, I got photos of this outside. I'll, I'll, I'll 
post a link to them on the uh, on the video and in the video description. Yeah, you got these arrow slots all the way around. Mm -hmm. you, not that anybody would come up that close to the wall anyway, but yeah. <laughs> these little arrow holes or musket holes just gives you every point of view, every uh, every angle. Angle, yeah. Well, you're not going to get near this place without someone pointing something at you. Personally, I would be no good. Yeah. Very Let's have a walk along slow. to the uh, to the tower on the on the far corner there. Let's walk over there. So we'll take a trip over a little. I wander over to this corner, this little turret. Imagine some guy had to stand in here all day long, all night long. That's the main entrance gate. We'll get to that in a few minutes. You would have had animals and people and. Nothing now. We weren't at all. So, here again you have all your musket holes out every which direction. So we have your first floor. First floor here. Coming in at this level. First floor doorway. Here. Oh yeah, cool. Here's something to note. In this uh, kind of a two angle, bi angle arrow slot, you got out straight out along the main wall of the castle and then out towards the entrance. So you got two and one there. That's kind of cool. So these are the steps up to the steps up to the first floor of the turret, corner turret. Let's get up here and see what, uh, what's going on. Hey, Jim, you're relieved. Yeah. Go on, step My in. turn. Yeah. <laughs> in we go. Yeah, I wonder what that is. Just a split, or it would have been for something. Do I want to? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to if you don't want to. Up we go. And get a look out the front. You do get quite a view, don't you? You can see at the end of the the steps there. Look at the where the the door was, and it's been blocked oh, up. Yeah, it's blocked up. So that was your sentry. Could go in there for a, whatever it was, a cup of beer. And there's the castle, sitting in the back corner, protected corner. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can't tell you that. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing, you know, if you're scared, why would you run? So here is the main entrance. And you got a few little entrances. If you got a little door to the side there, like Miho was saying, they're all very small, aren't they? Well, apart from this one. Let's take a look up there. So there would have been a few floors on this again. And like we said, you can walk out onto the the ledge going around. Uh, here's the main entrance, main gate. Uh, we're led to believe there was a drawbridge on this one time, so okay. can't confirm that. Can't confirm nor deny. But it's cool front entrance. And here's the other corner. Let's mosey over here to the other uh, turret on the, what would you call them, battlements I suppose? Yeah, let's go with that. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I like the sound of it. <laughs> Let's get in there. Oh, there's those double slot again. One out right, actually you can see it better on this one. Right out along the main front wall and then towards the main entrance, main road entrance. And the same one here again. One arrow slot facing back towards the main wall and then one facing out towards the main road. Yeah. So that was the door into the first floor and then I think there was a second floor as well because you would have yeah, been standing up on the roof. You can see a ledge, you probably won't make it out on camera but there. you can see a ledge all the way around. Right there. Well, it must have got something to do with locking the door. Yeah, must have. Okay. There's the old battlements again and that ledge walking all the way around. It seems to come to an end at the back, there in the back corner. 
Maybe that was the guard house or something. Or servant's house. Yeah. That's pretty cool. What? Kind of notice here on the front as well. You see the way there's uh, you got the door there in the center, and then right beside it you got that little that little uh, kind of arrow hole or musket hole right beside the front door. That was in the previous castle as well. Remember you had the little window right oh, at the yeah. front door. And oh, there was the little, uh, those. Can you see the oh, I can. Yeah. Absolutely. So here's your front door, and then when you look right up here, absolutely spot on. Oh. <laughs> right over it is a murder hole. So oh. there's the internal of the castle. We can't get into this again. We're working on that. We'll hopefully, to get in again some other time. But I reckon this is more or less the same layout as the previous one. Might have been the same contractor. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. So at every entrance, there's a. There's a murder hole. Yeah. And outside the door here, there's another one from up there. And if you get inside, then you have another one. Yeah, you're not going to get inside. We take a walk down to this little uh, servant's house or guard's house or whatever it is, parked up along beside the castle. Yeah. Michal is now sticking his head <laughs> in a sewer. <laughs> that's a that's a sewer. That's the that's the privy hole. It goes right up to the master's bedroom, I reckon. <laughs> you can see. Up where the nice pretty window is up there. So he would have went into his little chamber and... I'm in the shit Taking a moment of privacy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, look as you go up, how nice, how much nicer the windows get as you go up. Obviously that's defence as well, but... So up there, there is uh, probably another walkway around, a ledge that you can walk around. So you got those, uh, what you call it, parapets looking out over again with arrow slots underneath them. Yeah. I wonder what that is. Sticking out over. Oh, What's that's cool. For that? That's probably another privy then. I wonder. Or else, yeah, it would be, I'd say. And it's a different kind of a keyhole window as well. It's yeah. Look at where there was a fireplace. I always think someday it's really strange because of the fireplace and then there's a wall. Yeah. So this was obviously built on after. Yeah. Well, see the way Michal can point it out there. You see the way the the coin stones of the castle end, ah, and then there's a new kind of abutment up against it. Okay. So add on and add on and add on. Just over the centuries, just add on a little bit more. And there you've got that kind of slot window in the coin stones again. For some reason I love those windows. They're pretty inventive. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of work in that one, isn't there? Usually it's you got to grow a few inches, and now we've got to shrink a few inches. See that vaulted ceiling? To find out what the hell is going on. Go on, up you go. <laughs> I hope it doesn't fall down with me. Uh, go up quick and I won't film your ass. <laughs> you can see up there that was part of the battlement. Yeah. Again. And you got those little haunches there to sit the timbers on to, to build the floor or the roof of the house. Let's get up there and take a look out. Well, that's where the battlements come in. That ledge the whole way around. Nice little window there. Yeah, I love those uh, those chamfers. Some stonemason put in. Well, there's a center piece somewhere. If you can find he wouldn't it. have written in anything at the base there, would he? Do you know the way you, a builder would always hide his name somewhere? Well, he's built so many of them, so I'd say he <laughs> just gave up. No, nothing there. There's over here. Have a look. See? Oh, okay, yeah. 
out there in those behind those trees is the original uh, the original castle that was built here in the 1200s 1250 or something like that it's gone now is it see those where the water is that was a moat oh cool so you got this moat going around and you got a bunch of trees obviously growing where the castle was and then they knocked it down and they built this in the 1500s so that's I a, uh, what I learned well, it's cool the way you can see one step after another where all the buildings were added on and knocked down taken off just like you would to your own house here is another one of those slot windows on the front corner get a good view down on top of whoever is running rushing your castle definitely on this one the windows are the, the slot windows are more ornate aren't they see so you got with those you got those kind of nice uh, gothic arches on top of them and even around the head of the window they have uh, little um, decorations carved in let's go around the other side So that's where another part, another building has fallen down. That building probably came along from the butt there, along here, and probably over to where this ruin is here. So that was another part of the house, probably a, a nice big extension to the castle at one stage. See those cool, that cool little round hole, little peephole at the bottom of that slot window, that is nifty. Yeah, what is that about? No idea. There's another one of those spouts that come out. Yeah. And again, up on that side, you got those uh, battlements at the top with the slots underneath it. So you would say that that's probably the the uh, hall that was in this particular building, the great hall. Huge fireplace like that. Something you don't see. There's a mantelpiece still on this. Oh yeah, you see that. So you got this mantle. Someone was leaning against that drinking a pint of ale or a cup of wine. Serve it! What's the last thing that was on that mantle? Some guy's head. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we take a walk around the outside? Yeah. So here is the front entrance. There's the front turret that we were in. And yeah, there's the main gate and a lovely murder hole over that again. Such an apt name for it, really, isn't it? Look out the window, dump down some oil or bricks or blocks or whatever on top of them. Well, you know that that hole is for nothing else. It's, it's no, it's not for saying, it's not for saying hi. Hi! Hello, hole. And uh, over here, of course, you got hmm. your old Game of Thrones god, Godswood. I walked up this earlier. It's just, it's like a, a scene out of Game of Thrones. Yeah. If you look you hard, see people. Kinda. Yeah. If you look hard enough at that trunk, you're gonna see uh, Brandon Stark <laughs> reach his arm out through it. Yeah. Now, here is the outside of one of the walls. You can see the castle in behind it. Let's take a walk along. There's the outside of those arrow holes. And we see how high. Yeah. The, the top of the wall. Yeah, around 30 foot. There's the castle peeping out over. You can see how close would you actually get to this without being, you know, a shot coming off on, on you. There's no way in the world. You got a, a, a couple of guys up there, a couple of sentries up on the wall, a couple of guys up on the roof of the castle. All the way around, all the time. You would not get within 100 yards of this place. But then again, if you've got cannons. It doesn't look like this place was ever attacked though. They obviously played their alliance as well, so they did. <laughs> There's a cool little bridge here at the back. You got those uh, that turret at the back of the the back corner of the castle with those slots underneath it to see to see out again. Out and down. There's a cool little bridge. Sorry, 16th century this was built. 1550 or something. And no, no memory at all. It's written on the wall inside. Yeah. 
<laughs> I have no me I don't remember it being built. <laughs> there is I don't know why you would put a back door on a battlement. <laughs> I don't get that now at all. To let yourself out maybe. There was always kind of tunnels running from these things. So yeah. who knows, probably back into the forest there somewhere, there's a tunnel coming out. Of course it's probably a big building over here, what well fallen in by now. See the big ditch? Oh. Down here. Would that have been kind of moaty? That could have been a moat. Take a, a mosey over there and see if you can... Fall in. Yeah, see if you can fall in. <laughs> I'll get it on camera. That is def most definitely a moat. Yeah. See the way, or definitely a, a protective ditch anyway built at the back of the castle. You can see all the briars just filling it in now. So that ditch probably went the whole way around. The whole way around the uh, perimeter. Again, another obstacle you got to get over. What am I doing? Get out of there. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> so here's another far side of the wall. Another brick of the wall. And there, another one. Another turret on the, s the back end of the uh, of the battlements. So both sides are mirror images, it seems, of one another. They're both the same. Yeah. Interesting enough, you can still see the capping on top of the wall. Oh yeah, that's cool. The yeah, there's capstone. Triangular cap. Capstones. On the wall. <laughs> you don't see that. Like. Some guy spent years chiseling those out. I like to see. So that's the main road in there, leading up to the castle. If you ever get a chance, come and visit it, it's absolutely cool. When they were building this, they weren't building it for me <laughs> to come and view it. To learn more about what you've seen today, go to our website castlehunters.org. But we'll have a lot more information on this and other castles that we've done in the series. Yeah, there. we've got hundreds of photos, and also uh, do the nice thing: like, subscribe, and uh, share. Thank See you very much. Time.